Yeah, so this is an interesting. I felt like all the programmers that I saw around me had started programming when they were six. And so they, they had this huge leg up. And I looked at what they were doing and I said, well, I, I don't quite understand that, but I'm pretty sure that I'm just as smart as you. And so that, that's like a little bit of a confidence boost that lets you go out there and try learning an entirely new skill set. My name is Rachel Myers. I'm a software engineer, and my passion project is RailsBridge. It's an organization that is trying to expand diversity in the programming community, specifically Rails, but we're branching out to JavaScript and databases and version control, and we just want to change the world and increase diversity all over the place. I have a master's degree in philosophy, so before I started learning to program, I would teach freshman philosophy students when people study for a humanities credit, they're doing it because someone is making them. And when they come to RailsBridge, they're doing it because they see the world changing and they want to be a part of it, because they see their friends having jobs that are really engaging and exciting, jobs where you want to come home and keep working. They feel that calling where you, can, where you have a project that is so engaging that you want to do it all the time. Sometimes people describe me as self-taught, and I say, well, no, not really. Everyone taught me, right? Sarah Allen gave me an internship when she was not justified in doing so. She just she took a chance on me. I was at a meetup, and the conversation was, we really wish that we had more junior developers that we could like mentor and teach these things to. The response was, I don't know anyone like that. I'd love to pair and like mentor people, and I don't know where those people are. I raised my hand, and I shouted out from the back of the room, here I am, I'd love to pair with you. You don't have to hire me, just let me pair with you. I've learned so much. And indeed, Sarah Allen pulled me in for an interview and she said, yeah, you're gonna have to pair for free, but, <laughs> but you're in. And so that was my first opportunity to see the whole workflow, to see what it's like to work as a developer. It's not just learning a language, it's learning an entire way of thinking. It's learning how computers work, it's learning about what the workflow is to be a programmer, learning all those things and trying to do that sometimes while you have another job. My first open source project was trying to learn how Git works. I realized that I didn't know anything about version control and so a friend and I decided that we would create a project. I would fork her project, I would make changes, I would submit a pull request and all of our changes were silly. I have been really pushed forward as a developer because of what I do outside of work. I'm pushed forward by what I do at work as well, but I don't necessarily dig into the same stack at, in my side projects that I do at work. And it's, it's been a great way to put code out in the world and make sure that it's up to people's standards. So I would say that's like a huge benefit of, of side projects and passion projects specifically. Most of the problems I work on are things I've never done. If I've done it before, then I'll do it, but that's boring. I think one thing that I find really motivating is I wake up and there are six new emails, six great new ideas that people have proposed and I'm really excited about four of them, right? I think that, that those are four ideas that will change the world and I want to get up and help.